Hi, I'm Cindy McGee, and you're watching Polymer Clay TV. pattern to polymer project was sort of a twist on my usual method where I find a pattern and then want to mimic it. This time I had a color palette that I wanted to create something in, rose gold and pearl. And I went online and did some searching and I found these four different patterns in a combination of rose gold and pearl. And I set about to recreate those patterns in polymer. This will be our veneer number one inspiration. For the first pattern I'm using Primo Sculpey Accents and this is Pearl that I've conditioned and rolled in my clay machine to a setting number four. I'm going to be silk screening with the Shadows of Your Love silk screen from createalong.com. I think it really closely mimics the pattern on this wallpaper that I found online. Just going to trim my clay sheet a bit. Place your silk screen with the darker colored side down. This one is orange, so the orange side down. I like to give it a little roll just to make sure it's going to stay in place while I silk screen. And I'm using this DecoArt Americana Multi Surface Satin, and this is one of their metallic colors, and it's rose gold. And it is absolutely beautiful. Carefully lift that silk screen and take it and wash it right away so that it's ready to use next time and let the silk screened image dry on the clay. The next pattern I found had a geometric effect on a pearly white background. To mimic the geometric pattern that I found, I'm using this linear pattern silk screen from Create Along and more of that Primo Sculpey Accents Pearl roll to a setting number four. And I am going to silk screen with the same rose gold paint. Carefully remove the silk screen, give it a good quick wash, and let that dry on the clay. This third rose gold and pearl pattern that I found is actually a wallpaper of a, a pearl pattern against a rose gold background. To mimic the next pattern, I'm using Primo Sculpey Accents Rose Gold Glitter Clay, which I conditioned and rolled to a setting number four on my clay machine. And I'm going to silk screen with the Deco Fans silk screen from createalong.com. Again, place it orange side down onto the clay sheet. And this time I'm using DecoArt Matte Metallics paint and I'm using the Ivory Pearl color. This is a flat metallic paint. It still has a sheen, but it's a little more subtle and it's a great consistency for silk screening. Carefully lift off that silk screen and let that image dry on the clay sheet and wash your silk screen right away. Here's a little closer look after it's dried a bit. You can see it picks up all the detail and it has that lustrous pearl effect. I'm using more of that rose gold glitter clay that I have rolled this time to a setting two on the clay machine and the Tribal Waves texture sheet from Create Along. And I'm just going to use my clay roller and press down to transfer the texture to the surface of the clay. This one was not inspired by a particular pattern I found. I just wanted a solid textured element to be part of the finished slab that I'm making. The fourth pattern I wanted to mimic is this marble effect that has bits of gold. It has some of that rose gold and ivory and pearl shades.
To mimic the rose gold marble type effect, I'm using translucent, Sculpey Primo translucent, and more of that pearl, which I've just chopped into assorted small pieces, and I'm using real gold leaf. Just some chunks mixed in with the blend. Mix everything together well to disperse the different colors throughout the pile. And now I'm going to add a little bit of that rose gold metallic paint and mix it all together well. Once you've got all the bits and pieces of clay coated in that uh, metallic paint, I did go back and add a little bit more of the gold leaf at this point. Then compress it back together to make a ball or a cube or whatever you're more comfortable working with, but compress it back together. Now using a sharp blade, you want to go ahead and make slices from your clump of marbled clay. Mine are a little more than an eighth of an inch thick and just place them adjacent to each other on a tile or a non-stick surface. Take your acrylic roller and roll over it just a bit to help begin the flatten that sheet. And then I took a piece of scrap paper and placed it on top and carefully rolled over it again. It helped keep it from sticking to the roller. As you can see, that's an issue. That paint makes it kind of tacky. I kept rolling it until it was about the same thickness as the other veneers that we made, and then I rolled a sheet of translucent clay. I cut all of the veneers into assorted sized strips, assorted width strips, and then reassembled them in a pattern that I liked on that translucent backing to make the slab for my jewelry. I then used cutters in a variety of shapes and sizes to make different elements for jewelry with the striped veneer and with some single sheets of the solid veneers that I made. For inspiration, join our Polymer Clay Tribe Facebook page. Over 18,000 members sharing projects every day. For lots more creative polymer clay ideas, visit the Polymer Clay TV blog.